Hey, Paul. Hi there, how are you doing? Thanks for inviting us along today. You're welcome. Fantastic. You're welcome. When people are going to propose, they want a, a, something where it's a different way of getting an engagement ring to their f to be fiance. Um, and this is a way to do it. We can make a heart-shaped box and decorate that in any way we like, um, personalise it. And then, if I pop that down, we can make a small heart-shaped chocolate to encase the ring in. This is the chocolate. There's a lot here. There's about two and a half kilos of chocolate. Now, this has been melting overnight. So we have everything in a big band marie So what I'm going to do, the tempering process is to get, you know, when you have a really good chocolate and you break it and it snaps and it's shiny and it's crisp, that's what we want to get back. Because this is now, the structure's dissolved and destroyed. We need to get that back to that point where, when it's finished, it's shiny. So, stand back. This is why I want oohs and ahs, please, because this is the important bit. We tip out. Ooh. Two-thirds of the chocolate onto the marble slab. That was a real ooh. I would hear oohs and ahs from people at home. We're <laughs> going to spread it out now. This is hot, hot chocolate, just melted chocolate. And by putting it on the marble slab, it cools it down. And at the same time, I'm going to start mixing it. So if you put your hand there, you can feel the warmth coming off. Yeah, you can good. feel the heat, but that's, that's too hot to make anything out of. So I'm going to work around the marble slab, scraping the chocolate into the centre. And the marble slab stays cold all the time, so it can cool the chocolate down. The chocolate has an amazing sheen to it. It does. It's, it's almost like a gloss. It is. Well, cocoa butter. Don't want to get chocolate on you, there we go. <laughs> Lots of cocoa butter, which is the natural oil from the chocolate, the natural fat in the chocolate. Um, and that does, the more there is of that, the shinier. I mean, if you look at this, it's very glossy, very shiny. It doesn't contain all those na horrible, nasty, artificial ingredients. But it does mean we have to keep it pure and clean. We don't, you know, spoil it in any way. So now you can see the chocolate's got really thick. What I do now, when it's really thick, this is starting to crystallise and get hard. I'm going to scoop it, I'm going to step round this way, scoop it all back in to the chocolate that's left in my vat, which is warm. Because we don't want this to set yet, we want to use it to create our mould. And the warm chocolate I left in the vat will keep this fluid. We've mixed the chocolate on the marble slab. We've put it back into the container. Now we need to check that it's tempered. Now the warm chocolate that was left in here is keeping this chocolate really fluid. And you can see how smooth and lump free. There shouldn't be any lumps in the chocolate. What we need to do now is check that the chocolate is tempered. There are two ways to do it. One is to take your finger and touch your bottom lip. Okay. So you... by tempered, you mean just sort of... Where all the crystals and now lined up, ready. You feel it's ever so slightly warm. Okay, mm. the fun bit. This is our mould. It's been cleaned with cotton wool. We use organic cotton wool, that's absolutely pure, because a lot of the cheaper cotton wools have got chemicals and the bleach and things in. And we're going to fill one of our heart, both of our hearts to the top. So now this, we're going to put onto the marble slab. I've filled it completely full. Now, if we left it like that, we'd just have solid chocolate hearts. But we need to tap out the air. So you see the air, there's little air bubbles coming up. We're going to tap. So now we've got to tip it upside down. All upside down, and I'm going to tap the edge. And then take the palette knife across. And across again. And what you're left with, just take a little flake to the side. What you're left with is an empty shell. So this needs to go into the fridge, only for about 10 minutes. So this is the finished box. We can inlay gold leaf or silver leaf onto it. Pipe words of what wanted, I love you or will you marry me, we can do that as well. But what we always do, once the chocolates or the, the ring is in there, take some of our ribbon and we just lightly tie it. Because it's always nice to unveil chocolates, especially the chocolate box. This is where the skill is to tie it without marking the chocolate. <laughs> and underneath that we'll put a little scroll printed with the message from person who's asking the person to marry them uh, and that will be positioned in a box and I think honestly think that could it's probably the most personal and individual will you marry me gift 